Hey, welcome over here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a new belt setup from Core Essentials. Okay, so what I got was the Core uh, Dual Competition Belt. So it's got an inner belt and an outer belt. Uh, this is the outer belt, and it uses their ratcheting system with their buckle. And then the inner belt is like a normal, uh, you know, inner and outer belt system. So you've got a Velcroed inner belt and then the stiff outer belt. And so on this one, uh, which I'll show you a little closer here, it's got a center section that allows it to compress as you're tightening up the ratcheting system on the outer belt. But I ran into a little issue. I wanted to show it off. So if anybody in the future wants one of these, I'll show you one thing to keep an eye out for when you are sizing the inner belt. One thing to take a look at, check out the thickness of these belts. Like this is a well made, super sturdy belt. So you can wear the inner belt, I believe as an EDC belt, it seems pretty sturdy and well put together. And then the outer belt is super rigid. And I mean, I don't think you could bend it without putting an excessive amount of weight on here. So this should hold shape really, really well. Okay, so they come with this uh, tape here that you're supposed to use laid out on the outer belt and come up to your pant size and then cut the belt at that position. And then they say to take one inch off. So for me, I cut the outer belt right about the 30 and then the inner belt I did, like they said, take one inch off and cut at the 29. So that's what I did, but let me show you the uh, problem. So as you can see, I have a lot of uh, tail here. And what is supposed to happen when you strap this together, this should be open. Like you should be able to see my, uh, my button for my pants in between here. So what I'm gonna have to do is take off all this excess probably take it off to about there so for me sizing the inner belt it is way too long uh, going by their instructions the outer belt seems to be about in the right position but let's go ahead cut this down and uh, see how it fits from there all right so I went ahead and just marked it with a sharpie so I've got an idea of where I need to cut here I am going to try to cut it a little bit long we're going into winter so I'll probably be wearing a few more layers for the next couple months so just to give myself a little bit of space so i think i'm going to go right about here now these things are super tough to cut okay i think that's going to work so i should be able to close that together and get there okay so as you can see i've still got a little bit um, but like I said, going into the winter months, I'm probably going to be wearing layers. So that'll give me a little bit more room if I plan to run this. Um, if it ends up being too much, I can always just cut off another inch. But that leaves a gap here between the firm sections so that when you use the outer belt and you need to ratchet it up, it can flex and move and tighten up there. Okay, next step, they give this little cover. So you should be able to just get that on the, on the end here. I mean, obviously now you can uh, like melt the ends here if you're concerned about fraying. They say that it shouldn't fray too much, but you know, I'll keep an eye on it. So what you're gonna do, undo the, the clasp here, uh, loosen up these screws. All you do, slide it in, Get that guy all the way in place there. You can see it'll go up to a stop. Then we're going to lock this in. Okay. And then we're going to tighten these set screws down, which they say not to like torque them down super hard, but they've got little studs on the end. So this will just give some added uh, assurance that it's not going to loosen up while you're using it and uh, try to jump out on you. They say you just need to get it down to where it is, uh, the head of the screws are flush. There you go, feel a little resistance there. Just give it a little bit of tightening. Boom. Boom, boom. So we should be good there. 
like I said, I think this outer belt is going to be pretty close. So let's see how this fits. So we'll start. We want the uh, buckle kind of centered here. Then we're going to wrap around our Velcro, snap into place, and there we go. Now I want that tighter. I can just click it in and uh, we should be in pretty good shape here. So tighten a notch or two. If we need to, we got that release underneath the buckle here. So I can loosen up, tighten it down. And then one thing that sold me on this is it comes with this little keeper. There we go. So I like that. I like not having to have to worry about having too much of a tail here. And uh, if I need to tighten things up, I can just click them in, click, and get them tightened down. So this feels pretty solid. And I think this is going to end up being a really good option. So this was an idea that I got from Gene over at Reloading from the Hot Pot. Really thank you again for this one. Like I said, this thing feels really, really sturdy and really solid. So I'll get it loaded up, get all my uh, mag set on the side, holster set up, and get this ready to go. And we'll see how it looks from there. I also got this nifty little uh, key ring from them. Uh, mainly just to have something uh, handy to keep uh, with me. And it's got a GoPro uh, mounting screw tool on it here. So I can use that on all my little GoPro mounts that I have hanging around. Plus it just looks cool. So I like carabiner style key rings so let's take a look at a little problem here so I got this uh, holster from uh, from blade tech is their new total eclipse 2.0 I got it because I like the new uh, mounting system how it goes on the sides I'll show that off a little more in a few minutes but I did not realize a few problems so let's drop down and take a look at this okay so as you can see here's my buckle so I have this way forward um, I am apparently too skinny <laughs> for this type of a uh, holster. I tried to have it so it would be right here on the side of my hip, but it will not flex and uh, like wrap around the side of my hip. So I had to move it up here or way back at the small of my back. And I don't ever practice that, so we're not gonna try it. Anyways, moved it up here just to uh, do some test fits and see if this would work for what I'm trying to do. I wanted to get an IDPA, uh, like a more legal type of holster that is closer to the body. And this really pulls it in close for sure. But here's the issue. So I'm going to try to draw this. Here's my hand. So you can see it's lifting my whole belt up. I've got to put my hand down there and even there. Very tight. There we go. So this is as loosened up on the tension that I can get it, but it is a very, very tight fit. So I'm working with them. We're going to see if there's any tricks to maybe make this work for me. If not, um, I'm going to try something else, but I just wanted to uh, give an update this at least with a DR920, which should be the same dimensions as a Glock 17 and TLR1HL, which is what this is made for. This may be just too tight for, at least for me and my skinniness. You know, it might work for somebody else, um, but for me, this is not going to be a good way to go. Man, that's really in there tight. Okay, so let me show you why I wanted to go with this one. So part of the IDPA rules, um, it cannot be too far, like your holster cannot be too far away from your body. Currently, I'm running a drop leg holster that gets it out away from me and can sit away. And technically, that's not IDPA legal, but these are just little local matches that I'm going to. So they haven't said anything, but I want to try to follow all the rules and compete on a uh, like a even footing with everybody else. So I was hoping this would work. Um, the way this new system works here, you can change out by rotating out here, and then you can slide these out if you wanted to 
have a, uh, a belt clip style, run it like an inside the waistband, snap that in, boom, and you've got an inside the waistband hook. Pretty cool. And then uh, say you wanted to do a belt clip. So this guy right here, lift that up. And then you can slide over your belt, snap it in place. And I mean, this fits really secure. So this would totally work um, if it wasn't so tight with my pistol in there. I just can't draw. I loosened up this tension all the way out. Like I can hand loosen this right now and uh, it's still too tight to do what I needed to do. So we'll see if we can get any, uh, any luck on changing this out to uh, something else that will work. But I mean, this is a really cool idea. I really like the concept of it. I just don't know if it's gonna work for what I need it to do. So just wanted to uh, add this in here something to consider always test your holsters to make sure they will work with the use that you are getting them for so since that didn't work i decided i'm going to throw on my double alpha holster and just run this belt with my platypus for now so this is their hanger system uh, what i really like about this belt is it fills up the full uh, loop area here for your belt to pass through the leather belt that i got from double alpha is just a little bit short and the belt would like uh, wobble back and forth so if the belt was here I could move it just a little bit and I you know wasn't terrible but it did cause a few little issues here and there so this is really solidly mounted now I mean just holding it by the buckle and it has no sag in it right there I mean that is impressively good stiff belt right here so definitely recommended. As you can see, this is good, solidly secure. Might have to readjust a little bit, uh, figure out where I'm gonna like this uh, side to side, but hands up. So this, obviously much faster draw with this. Okay, so let's just test this out. These are empty mags. So let's just do a little practice here just to see, you know, if everything's kind of set up in a decent spot. And hands up, beep, plat. Beep. Think everything's functioning pretty good spots i think for me right now this is in a pretty good spot at least for just practicing playing on the range so hopefully we'll get back make some more content with the platypus here pretty soon but this is all well set up and a really nice belt system so i'm quite pleased with this core competition belt and i just wanted to share it with all you guys so thanks for checking out this video my new uh competition belt i really like how stiff it is how sturdy and well it's holding everything so far i will do a little more uh tweaking with uh placement of, of things and so far just swapping from one holster to another has been really quick and easy i like how it fills the full slots so um on like a paddle holster i've uh, tried a couple and they feel the belt fills the entire notch that's available so this should be very secure it's real nice and thick. Uh, pretty much everything you could want in a belt. I mean, Core really knocked it out of the park with this one. So if you're looking for a new competition belt, definitely give this one a look. Uh, go check with Reloading from the Hot Pots channel. He's got a discount code that you can use over there. Once again, thank you very much for turning me on to this one. And I hope you guys like it. And uh, you'll be seeing this more in the future, in uh, future videos. Really appreciate it if you'd thumbs up the video, share it with anybody you think might be looking at a new competition belt, and come back for more. Make sure you're subscribed. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I got rained out this weekend for testing on the old Garmin here, but everything's clear. Weather looks good. 
this coming weekend we should be good after inventory at my work on Friday and Saturday. Then we'll get out on the weekend, test the Garmin, get everything set up on my rifle for my next PRS match that will be the Sunday after. So second Sunday of November, I got another PRS match coming up. It's gonna be cold and uh, <laughs> we'll see how I do. Make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along, see what happens there. As always, I thank every single one of you guys that stops by and checks out my videos. Hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.